Hey honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Molly. If you're new, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Today we're doing a haul and it's a big one and I'm on a spending ban, okay? So some of these things have actually been gifted to me and some of them I bought, but it was before my spending ban and I've been waiting for everything to come so I can do one big collective haul. And I don't think there'll be another haul for a while because I, I am reining it in now. I'm gonna save instead of spend. Clothes are my retail therapy. Like I love clothes, I love clothes so much, but I, I just, I need to stop, you know? One big massive haul to satisfy those cravings. I feel like this is gonna be a long video, okay? Because there's a lot. I have some vintage gifted things. I have accessories that were gifted. Um, I have Motel Rocks bits, Cider bits, Shop Cider on Instagram, Zara, Bershka. There's a lot. There's so much. Shoes. I have shoes. Pretty little thing. Okay. Also, I have no nails on. I need to redo them. And my tan is a bit patchy. But we don't care. We don't care over here. We just come as we are because we're amazing as we are. Okay. Definitely not lazy. Just amazing. <laughs> and I hope you like. I tried something different with my hair. A little half up, half down stitch. I don't know. You can probably see my nipples, but also I don't care. This is my first video as a 24 year old. Aside from my last vlog where I turned 24, like this is literally my first like video as a 24 year old, my first haul as a 24 year old. And I feel the pressure because I'm like an adult adult now. Like next year I'm 25. I need to be mature, but I'm not mature. I feel the pressure to be, like I feel the pressure to be like, have my shit together, be a good role model for all you honeys, but I'm just like, listen, we'll see. We'll see how that one works out. So what do I start with? I don't know what to start with. This top is actually from Zara. We'll include this and these jeans are Motel Rocks. Sorry for my feet, they have a split hem. So this Instagram page contacted me and I think they might have a Depop as well and they were like, we want to send you out some bits. And I was like, okay, I'll take. Look what they sent me out. This is the first one. It's like, this is like a magenta pink. So it's kind of like a purpley pink, which matches my hair actually, I think quite well. And then it has like purple on it and all this design on it. Should I stand up here so you can see better? What do we think? I love. And I think it would be just fab for like everyday wear. You know, if you were out having a barbecue with your friends cause we're, you know, hot girls summering. I swear to God, they better lift these restrictions soon because I can't fucking go up. I want to be hot girls summering all summer long. So while we're hot girls summering and we're having like a hot girl barbecue, just chuck on this over your little dress or your like little shorts and top. I love it. Could also wear it with like all black underneath, like black leggings, a vibe. I just love it. It's cool, it's different, not a lot of people are gonna have it in you know, that kind of way. So thank you for sending that out. And they also sent another one out. It's the next one they sent out and it's just like a grey Adidas one. I know some people say Adidas, you're wrong. You're wrong, I don't care. This one's kind of like more of a bombery style because it's like cuffed at the bottom so it gives like that roundish shape. Um, and it's grey so it's gonna go with everything, like gonna match everything, gonna be so so fab. I feel like this angle is quite low so if it looks like I have a double chin in this, I do. But I would rather if you overlooked that, thanks. What do I wear next guys? I can't, I don't know what to wear next. <gasps> oh. Okay, no, you don't understand, right? Because I am far too excited about these next two bits, so. If anybody's heard of Almighty, it's like a very cool, unique kind of shop. Um, and I think it's based in America. I act, I could be definitely wrong here, but I feel like students started it up and then it turned into something really cool. But I could be wrong, but I tried Googling it, finding out more info. I'm not really sure, but it's cool, okay? And I think it's based in America. A lot of my favorite Instagrammers, Instagram girlies, fashion honeys, wear their stuff. And it was on my Pinterest board for Hot Girl Summer for ages now and I finally bit. I was like, for my birthday, this is what I treated myself to. And I did get charged customs. I got charged 17 euro customs, but they had a 30% off sale. So I feel like everything just worked out for the best. So anyway, this is the first top. The colors, the colors, girls. Pink and green, like a really bright green. And then it has a little strawberry. Str reminder to eat your fruit honeys. Yeah, I love it. I got a size small, but like everything about this brand is so cool. Like their tags are really cool. The little um, receipt came in like this little pocket. I got stickers and I got a free tote bag. I was just, I'm very impressed with the customer service and the packaging and everything like that. And then on the side of this top, 
it has these drawstrings as well. So you could like crop it up more if you wanted to, let it down, like unreal. I should try it on, shouldn't I? Like why am I just talking about it? Like I need to try it on. I will try it on. I'll try it on right now. And it's so cute. You could tie these sides if you wanted to, or you could just leave them loose, doesn't matter. It is quite tight, probably could have gone for a medium, but I'm planning on slimming down for hot girl summer. I need to go on a diet, so I will. It is a bit snug, but it'll be fine. Also, like, cute, adorable. I think you can see my nipples, so. Don't wanna get demonetized. Let's put the hair there. Strawberry is looking cute. I love the green and the lime. I mean, pink and lime. I just love it. I think it's so fun and different. Like, again, again, this isn't from like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo or whatever ASOS, so like not everyone is gonna have these. They are getting very popular, but I don't know. And I just think it's so fun to have like bright little tops in your wardrobe. This is the next one. Let's try it on. <gasps> this is the next one. And look, this is the free tote that they gave with it. it just says Almighty oh, and has a little pink girl on it. So can you see the vibe here, girls? Can you see the vibe here? Hot girl summer, just driving around. Let's go to a beach. Let's go to Keem Bay in Ackle. That's a cute beach. And let's, I don't know, bring ice lollies and just be hot, you know, be our hot selves. I love this one because it's like yellow and orange. So it's kind of, it's definitely hot girl summer vibes, colors wise, like extremely summery, give me all the rainbow. I just, I don't know, I only have like one other yellow top and I just wanted some more yellow. Actually, now that I'm looking at the bits I have to like show in this haul, I've got like a couple yellow pieces. So I feel like now I definitely do have yellow in my wardrobe. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it was cute. I liked it. And their whole like logo slogan thing is, um, I'm okay, I'm alive. It's like, I'm okay, I'm alive. I love that. I love that positivity. It's like accepting, I'm okay, ish, maybe, I'm alive. Maybe, they, maybe that's not the way they mean it, but that's the way I take it. Like, I'm okay, I'm alive. But maybe they don't, I don't know what way they mean it. This top is from Cider. So their shop Cider on Instagram. I bought it. I bought three pieces from them. They do come from China. So it takes, I think it took two and a half weeks, two to three weeks, girls. Um, no, no customs, no customs. And I love the quality. I think the price is really good for them. I think what they do is they do like make to order or something like that. They have like, you have to wait for some of the things. So they're cutting down on mass production, which is good for sustainability. You can read into it yourself, but I keep seeing, I keep seeing ads for this shop all over Instagram, all over TikTok, all over Pinterest. They're haunting me. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna have to get something because I love everything that I see, but in my head I was like, I, I can't, I can't. But I did, I caved and I'm so happy I did because is this top not amazing? I love it so much. And these are new jeans I got from Zara. Let me stand up here. Oh, they are a bit tight on me. And I talked about it on Instagram and so many girls messaged me to say, first of all, white jeans are normally tighter or smaller fitting for some weird reason. And then someone else said that Zara sizing is a bit iffy and it's not always the same. And it gives, it's giving girls body dysmorphia. So honey, me too. But I got them in size 10, which is what I got all my Zara jeans in. And they're like the wide leg ones, which I love. And I really, really love the fit of these. I am only 5'3", so I do cut like 10 centimeters off the bottom of all my Zara jeans, but I love them. I think I cut these on a little too short though. I cut it on with maybe two more centimeters on the end, but it's fine. And I just love this vibe. You will be seeing this outfit in an Instagram picture soon. Perfect. And my little pink Prada Bay or a blue or white, whatever you want, girls. I love this top. I think it's so flattering on my boobs because I have, you know, I am the president of the Itty Bitty Tiddy Committee. But I think it's really flattering and it does have a collar, but you can't really see with my hair. And then this is the back looks like, even though I've already showed you the back loads, but here's it one more time. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I think trying on clothes is actually a sport, like genuinely. I love it. I think it's so elegant. It's thick, so like you're not gonna see your nips. Like, don't worry about that. I do have it rolled up a bit, but it does come to here, but I'm short. So I always just roll a bit so you can see the skin. So it is the crop top that it needs to be. I don't have anything else to say, except if you 
think you might want to go ahead and get it please you'll you won't regret it how cute is this this is the next top it's a squiggly top we all know i'm fond of a squiggly top i also have one from shein it's like a blue one but i love the feel of this material i honestly i don't even know but i just love the colors i love the squiggles it shouts from the rooftops summer at me i love it so much it's very comfy the neckline is a bit tight but i do have a thick neck like i know i'm aware i have a very thick like what that actually looks bad does that look okay i think i'm too chunky for it because i feel like the seam for my shoulders is here but my shoulders are broader than that and my neck is thicker i got a medium i actually don't know what size i got but i'm not returning it now i'm gonna keep it so we'll just have to deal with that hey okay, guys how stunning is this next one this is the heart jumper which we've seen everywhere i absolutely everyone absolutely everyone i know a few places make these but i i really really adore this one the quality is insane it's warm it's cozy it does go longer but as i said i'm short and i don't think that length suits me so i just roll it up a bit could even roll it tuck it into your bra do it a cropped kind of way but it has the heart in the front and the heart on the back oh love to everyone around all so cute it's oh it's adorable and i just felt left out not having it like i'm sorry but I, I have a pink and red jumper already, the Love Heart Face one from ASOS. So I didn't really need another one. But I just, I needed to have this one. You know, I just needed to. It's adorable. It's again, another piece that just makes you happy when you see it and wear it. And I feel like I get a lot of compliments in this. Not that I'm like a whore for compliments. But you know, just know when you see something and you know if you saw somebody else wearing it, you'd be like, that's so cute. And I feel like old women in Tesco are also going to love this. So that's who I'm doing it for. My oldies in Tesco. I look so sweet and innocent. You would never know I'm a raging bitch. I'm not a raging bitch. Only if you evoke it. I'm actually not. Well, sometimes. Depends on the day, to be honest. Butter wouldn't melt. Guys, we're not even halfway through. I told you this is going to be a long one. It's the Zara Knit. Zara Knit Fest. I just love it. Again, another like happy item. Okay, so summer and spring fashion are just different to autumn winter. Because I don't look at something brown. Okay, maybe I do. It depends. But I don't look at something like black or brown or nude and be like, oh, that makes me so happy. Unless it's like a cool coat. But really, like, like yes, it looks sleek, but it doesn't make me like want to bounce around with joy a lot of the time. Watch me take that back in like autumn when I do an autumn haul and I'm like, oh, I love this piece. But like, there's just something about spring, summer fashion. It's the colours. It just gets me. It evokes something within me. I feel like I've said a book of times now. Like, I don't know what's happening to my grammar. I'm listening to an audiobook, so maybe my grammar is, like, improving. I don't even know. But, yeah, I bought this with the white jeans. And I think it looks cute with the white jeans. What do we think? I could definitely wear. I don't think I will put anything under this. I just like the way it looks with nothing under it. But you could if you wanted to. You could definitely do it, like, an oversized shirt and then do this over it and wear it with, like, boots or something. Or put a little t-shirt over it. Whatever you want, boo, but I think I would wear it without anything. Just such a cute knit and also, honeys, I have the pink Zara jeans, which I don't think I've shown in a YouTube haul, so let's try them on because I feel like they're going to go with this. Oh, these jeans are so comfy as well. I kind of want to go and get them. They have them in like green, blue, yellow. They have them in all the colours and they're 40 euro and they're honestly so soft, so flattering and I think I want them in all the colours. But I'm also on a spending band, so I can't be doing that. I love this. I think it's cute. On camera, the pink and the pink in this look a little off, but honestly, in person, they look dead on. And it definitely works. So I don't know what Canon is not liking about this, but I'm telling you I override the camera and I think it goes. So cute. Like, I'm, oh, perfect for picnics, summer shopping. What else do you do in summer? I actually can't remember because I haven't been out of the house. Okay, I put on a bralette for you hoes. So you better appreciate that because you know I'm not fond of bras or bralettes. Well, I'll wear a bralette if I have to. But I refuse to put on a bra unless I'm trying to impress a man, which is embarrassing actually. Motel Rocks time. I have like four, oh my god, I can't hide. Four pieces from Motel Rocks to show you. This mesh blue top I have wanted for months. Well, since it came out. I don't know how long it's been out, but I feel like maybe one or two months. Maybe it's been out since December. I don't know. But I love it so much and I've wanted it so much, but I've held off because like Motel Rocks is a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. But I caved and I got it and I love it and I don't know if I would wear it with the pink jeans. I just have them on 
Um, but imagine a little black skirt, 70s style maybe. Maybe like a black skirt or a white skirt. I love it so much. It just feels so slinky. I feel like a 90s receptionist. I feel like Rachel from Friends would wear this and I absolutely slay it. And I love it so much. There's not much to it. Like it's just a blue mesh shirt thing. But I just feel like it's iconic. Okay. This is the next Motel Rocks outfit and it's actually cord so the top and the skirt I think they're cute and I was like I can definitely wear these not together as well like so many different ways like I'll be able to wear the skirt with a load of different tops wear the top with jeans and other skirts and whatever the top actually has a collar here so it's the same style as the shop cider top which I feel like suits me but it does also have these cups that I don't fill out because <laughs> I have no boobs. Um, but I nearly do. But they just don't quite, like I don't really droop into them the way boobs sometimes do. I don't, I don't know. Does it look weird? Like I just, like my boob is here and then it's just like a little sack of fabric. Like I don't have anything to drop into them. <laughs> Tell me if it looks weird. I'm keeping it either way, but I might have to like f fucking fill them or something. Even if I stretch them, I don't like fill it out so I really don't know. Also the skirt on the top although they're the same fabric and the same print the top looks darker than the skirt and I was like shit have I the skirt on inside out but I don't like it's white so like this is the right way to wear it and it has this stringy thing and um, that you wrap around at the top and again I'm short so I have to roll the top up so it looks cropped on me because my frame is like too small to have them Look craft if it's pulled down and all the glory. I match my bed sheets. How fun. It's a little twirl. But it's cute. It's cute or whatever. I'm keeping it. Motel Rocks is too expensive to return to. It's 12 euro to return to Motel Rocks. I'm not paying that. So I'll just keep it or like sell it on Depop. <laughs> I like it. I just, will somebody please comment and tell me about the cup thing. I really like the length of the skirt because it's a small, but like this is the length that I wear my skirts at. And I have a medium from Motel Rocks and it's a bit too long so I had to roll it up. But I really like the small. Okay, last piece from Motel Rocks. Guys, I thought this would be cute, okay? And even when it came, I was like, this is adorable. But now I have it on. I feel like an ogre. I feel like a Shrek. Nothing wrong with Shrek, but I just wasn't the vibe I was going for. But I think that's what this neckline does. I don't know. I think it's a nice length. But if I stand like this, I look like a rectangle, so I always shimmy. Shimmy about. I don't know, like, is it working for me? I feel like I look pregnant in it. There's no way in hell that I am. 2001 Paris Hilton It Girl costume vibe. I got gifted this and another cardigan, which I'll show you in a sec, from Skinny Dip London. And let's just take a minute to appreciate her. Oh, yeah. A few notable things about this though if you are considering getting it the fabric is quite thin i can't lie on that and i have like a navy thong on and you can't see it under it like it is see-through which i don't necessarily think of a lower tracksuit should be but it is so keep that in mind and then this waistband thing down here if that, if you can see that, it's like gathered all the way around here and then not gathered here. And I've tried to like spread out the gathering to try and move it around so it's all even, but it just won't work. And one last thing, just because I want you to know if you're gonna get this, the waistband in here keeps flipping. It's like one long thing of elastic, but it keeps flipping and twisting in the pockets. It's like not stitched in, it's just like in a little tunnel. So you have to keep going around and like flipping it right so it sits flat. Like right now it's twisted, it's twisted there. It's like twisted over. And I, it's just, things like that irritate me. So I just want to let you know, in case you're thinking about get, getting it. Um, Not an ad, it was just gifted to me and I'm being 100% brutal and honest as I'd like to keep it over here. So I'd obviously wear this with jeans or a skirt or any other bottoms. I wouldn't wear it with these bottoms, but just for the sake of it. Is this cardigan not adorable? I got to pick this out as well. It's like a pink, just a pink knit cardigan. And then it has little white clouds all over it. And I just think it's adorable. And I would wear it open like this, closed. It is a bit tight, but I would probably roll it up closed and give it cropped 
vibe but I like it open I think we just I just wear like this is probably see-through so sorry about that but it's just like a white little you can get them off ASOS they're everywhere there is a little square cropped up with little straps on it and I just think it works really well but I do love this I do and I think the quality on this is good it is it's not too thick but it's not thin like I think it's the perfect niche guys just a warning hi just a warning I don't think you're ready for this next item because look at it. Actually, next outfit, these two pieces. I'd re I had been eyeing up these leggings for ages because Lisa, Lisa who I love, like I'm obsessed with all her social media. She wears these leggings all the time. They're from Bershka and she's the same height as me. Um, so anything she wears, I'm like, let me get that. But I love them so much. They are still a tinsy bit long, but I wouldn't cut them or anything. I feel like they work. They work. They're high-waisted as well. I got a pair of these before, but they were low-waisted and they just didn't work at all. The quality is lovely. They are thin. So, like, I don't know, be cautious about your knickers if you care about that. But I just love the fact that they, they have ruching here and then they have, you know, strings and shit. Which we all know is very in right now and just everything has little strings on it and they make the tush look unreal. If I wasn't me, I would ride me. I don't even know the shit I come out with, guys. Like, I'm sorry, my filter just... And I'm gonna keep it in, I'm gonna keep it real. Because if you met me in person, and I didn't, you would be scared. You would, you would be like, who the fuck is she? So I'm just gonna keep it in. But, yeah. And this, which is a two-piecer, but you can um cut the string and then you have, like, individual pieces. Like, it is tied together, kind of. It's like a seam but you can like chop it but I just love it and it is warm I know it looks like it will be cold but it's something about these arm warmers I just like arm warmers I just think they're cool I'm not gonna get a load of them because I don't know if I will get the wear out of them but I just think they're cool I think they look cool I think everything about it is unreal and with this I can take the arm warmer off and then just have the crop top as well like I can do fun little things like that and I love that they're long, so they kind of cover my pants. I would like a thumb hole in them. I think that would have been fun. But it's fine. It's fine, Bershka. It's whatever. But I love it. I actually think it's really flattering on my small chest. And I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Wait till you see it with the bag. Is this not stunning? Or you could do a zebra bag, like a patterned bag. But I just think the lime and the neon. I don't know. I don't know, but I look hot. I do know that. Okay, so they sent me out three ones. So the first one was inspired by Kendall because she wore that little red bikini and we all wanted to be her. So this is the top of it. Cute. It's velvet, actually. I don't know if you can see, but it's velvety. And then these are the bottoms. These are all, like, handmade in New York and Tulum. I think it's Lalia and Layla. Lally and Layla. Can't lie, I have not tried these on because I'm just not emotionally ready to try on a bikini in my current state so I won't be uh, for another month at least but these this is the next bikini it's like frilly and I love the shade of blue so much it like shines it shimmers it's like a mermaidy blue absolutely obsessed and then the top is also kind of like it's so hard to hold up and show you but I'll try my best so this is the top and then this goes around the back so it's gonna look, if you can see the bottom of the bikini, it's frilly. So it's gonna look frilly like all around your back, if that makes sense. So it's gonna be like this and then frilly around the back as well. And I just love it so much. I love it so much. And then I'm not sure what you'd call this color because it's lighter than a turquoise, but I don't think it's like an eggshell blue. I'm not sure, but it's also iridescent-y as well. Like it kind of shimmers. Can you see the kind of shimmer? And it's tied to the front and it's a swimsuit, but it's like, has the hole in the middle in the back. So it, it has the bikini vibe, but it is a one piece. Again, haven't tried any of these on because I am too scared to. I do not need the emotional breakdown that comes with seeing me in a bikini currently. But I will let you know when I do try them on. There will be bikini pictures this summer of me in them because I'm, I want to, I want that for me. I want, I want to be hot. Well, I am hot, but I want to be even hotter. These are inspired by Chinsia and her little shoe collection. Absolutely adore Sophia and Chinsia. You already know that. But I needed some blue ones to go with my outfit that I got from Nguyen from the Amelia Star range. So I got these ones and I love them. And I want to go buy more blue things to wear with them now. Oh, they're just, and they're comfy too because they're low. 
which I never thought I'd be in low heels, but it's you not, know, I'm happy they're in because they are comfy to wear. And I feel like after the pandemic where we haven't been wearing a lot of heels, low heels are in, it's probably for the best. Because imagine all of us going out in like six inch stripper heels. I will actually do really want a pair of stripper heels and I want to learn to pole dance. But imagine us all going out in our big fuck off heels we would all be breaking legs. We'd all be in the hospital that's already overcrowded. It just wouldn't be the best for anyone in any situation. So I think low, low heels are the way to go for the summer. Let me show you my ring collection. They are very, I have them. These are gifted by the way from two different girls that make them. So these are the first two I got. I don't wear these day to day girls because they're, they're, they're clunky. Clay rings are clunky on your hands and a lot of them don't fit me right um, because my fingers are very small. They're not a day-to-day -day thing for me, but they are more of an accessory to an outfit if I want some pictures. Or maybe I'm going on a picnic and I want to spice it up. We'll see. But chilling around my house, I don't wear them day-to-day, -day, but I do love them and I love looking at them. So these are the first two. Aren't they gorge? I'll put the name of the screen and I'll link them below the Instagram page that sent these to me. And then I have some more. Those ones were handmade rings. And then these ones are Al Gems. You've just done a collaboration with Lina, which actually, this finger, these two rings are Lina and then this, this bracelet, this bangle, is also from Lina Jewelry or Lina Jewelry. And I swear to God, they say tarnish free. Can confirm, because I have not taken this off since I got it. I take my rings off, but I've never taken this bangle off since I got it. Mainly because it's kind of difficult to do. Like the clasp is, it's difficult to do on your own. And so I showered, I bathed, sanitized, everything. And not a mark, not a tarnish. Amazing, we love. So these ones, these ones are Al Gems X Lina, I think. You can get them through wherever. And I just love the colours. I love the purpley swirly one, the pink and orange swirly one, and the blue. Guys, I've been recording for over an hour. Okay, guys, so I think that's everything. I physically I can't think of anything else I have to show you. I feel like I've touched everything. So thank you to all the companies that gifted me bits. Um, I really appreciate it. You're helping me kind of curb my spending habit, but not really because I still <laughs> spend. I am on a spending ban. If I buy anything else, just slap me. You have full permission to slap me. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest and like this video and subscribe if you are new here. My light is going, my camera is going to die, but yeah, I really want to get to 20k soon on 10k on YouTube. They're some of my goals, but I love you. And if you like seeing fashion content every single day, follow me because I upload a lot on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like every week, every day. Every, you can't get rid of me, basically. I hope you have an amazing week, weekend, whatever day this is going up. And I love you. Bye.